Jane attacks his neighbor with eggs. New Game of Thrones teasers hit the web. And which Gossip Girl star is heading to Glee? All this and more on today's Rundown. How happy are you that it's Friday? I am. I always love Fridays. Friday I like Friday shows. I like the vibe here at Clever on Fridays. Oh yes, everybody is so happy. Hope you guys are having a great day as well. We have a jam-packed DHR. I am so excited to jump right in. I'm Deidre Behar, standing here with Katie Krause. Yes, hey you guys, let's kick things off with uh, some troubling Justin Bieber news. <laughs> Well, just when we were on like a high streak with mm -hmm. Justin Bieber, he went on like a family-friendly camping trip earlier in the week. He is now back in Calabasas and he attacked his next door neighbor, you guys. TMZ has obtained footage of a video of his neighbor and him, Justin, kind of exchanging really, really obscene words. And you don't see them in the video, no, you, you only hear, hear it. Exactly. So I guess basically the neighbor was sitting inside his home minding his own business and Justin just started pelting eggs at the front door and it led to this nasty exchange. Take a look. Hey, f you asshole! I got another one for you, actually! Yeah, come right over here, you mother Call the cops. Call the cops. Come right over. Oh, no, that's real good, buddy. Yeah, you're a big, fat, man, aren't you? Oh, my God. You're a big man. Come back over here, you little Hi, I'd like to, uh, po place an assault. Yeah, hi. This So TMZ is projecting that over 20 eggs were used in this vandalism uh, experience. Like two whole cartons of eggs. It's a lot of eggs, and I don't know where this malice is coming from. We know that Justin and this man have had some drama before, but you know what? It never needs to resort to something as low or petty as an egg attack. You know, eggs really yeah. need to destroy the paint or the wood on your home. This guy's looking at a lot of damage. Well, what bothers me the most is that the daughter was involved. I yeah. think she's about 13 years old or so and she's the one who actually made uh, the 911 call and that's what bothers me the most. I guess yeah. it's safe to say she's she's not a believer. Uh, no, I don't think so. You know, and Justin should know better. He's got young siblings. He actually posted on his Instagram shortly after the attack pictures with both of his younger siblings and you know, they're not that far off from being 13 like this man's daughter. He should know better. Moving over to some very exciting news. Oh, yes. I know that uh, Brandon, you guys know Brandon, is stoked about this. Deidre's stoked about this. Yes. I'm excited. Game of Thrones is returning very shortly, and today on Vine, HBO actually shared teasers of the upcoming trailer, which is set to debut on Sunday. Take a look at Tyrion Lannister, Jon Snow, and Daenerys in action. Okay, so they didn't give us too much, no. but like we told you, the full trailer will be out this coming Sunday, and uh, season four of Game of Thrones premieres officially on April 6th. Yes. What are you most excited to see this season? I mean, I feel like last season, the stakes were just so high with the action and the 3D mm -hmm. and the dragons. I'm excited to see what limits they push to with season four. Okay, good answer. What about you? Dragons, <laughs> Daenerys and her dragons. That is, that's enough. all I want to see this coming season. <laughs> all right, Gleeks, it was a very exciting day, you guys. Leah and Michelle finally put out the video for Cannonball, and you guys, my heart just goes out to her. She is such a strong woman, and you can tell that filming this music video was no easy task. Mm -hmm. It's emotional, it's very, very raw. Take a look. Well, let's move over to some of Leah Michelle's Glee castmates. They were out at Audi's Golden Globes pre-party last night. They throw this every year at Chaconis, and uh, Matthew Morrison was there. Cord Overstreet was there, and Matthew Morrison talked about uh, why he likes Audi, why he likes this party, and uh, their pal Jesse Metcalf was also on hand. Take a look. This is actually the only party I'm going to for the Golden Globes. Uh, I have a great relationship with Audi. Audi's been uh, very good to me, and. Uh, Honestly, uh, they, they throw really great parties. I'm rooting for Kate Blanchett in Blue Jasmine. 
Um, I think the best male performance was the gentleman in 12 Years a Slave, but I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> Sorry. And I like Jared Leto. So not in that interview, but in another interview, Matthew Morrison, are you ready for this? I'm ready. Are you guys ready for this? Spilled some major details about the upcoming 100th episode. It's gonna be two parts. And uh, word on the street is that Gwyneth Paltrow is gonna be returning. I'm excited. Kristen Chenoweth will be back. Good. And uh, here's the part that gets me. <gasps> Chase Crawford, who we know is really good friends with Matthew Morrison, yes. will be on the 100th episode. Um, Amazing. I know, he's gonna be uh, playing Diana Agron's new love interest, because of course she's returning. I guess his character's name is Biff. Has that, has that for a name? I like it. And he plays some sort of uh, bad boy, degenerate, that's right up his alley. So kind of like Nate Archibald, but a little worse. But a little worse. <laughs> I like Nate Archibald. I he's very Nate charming. Archibald. So this is more of a, a bad boy. I feel like him and Puck might have, head to head. Yeah, maybe so. So that's all you guys need to know about that. Uh, the 100th two-part, uh, I guess we can call it extravaganza, yes. will be airing March 18th and March 25th. I will definitely be watching. Oh, yeah. Well, from a Golden Globes party in LA, we are taking it across the country, you guys. You will never believe what went down in Miami. Okay, Jay-Z and Beyonce win the title, in my opinion, of <laughs> Parents of the Year for renting out an entire, I don't wanna call it a, an amusement park, it's more of like a wildlife park, for Blue Ivy Carter's second birthday. Lucky duck. So literally, this massive, expansive park full of like wild animals and gardens and just craziness and wonderfulness was all for Blue. And they looked around, they had a great day exploring, and then what did they do after? Well, they obviously Obviously got some pizza and uh, a little birdie told us that blue is using her best manners I guess she was like a little fussy at the dinner table and I mean so she's two she's two we expect it so Jay-Z goes here's my cell phone play with it what do you say and she said thank you that's why I like him teaching manners to As his daughter really. yes so this news actually breaks my heart. I never saw this coming. Did you see this coming? Not in a million years. Hilary Duff and her husband, Mike Comrie, have officially separated. Her rep confirms the news to People Magazine and in a statement said, quote, they've mutually decided upon an amicable separation. They remain best friends and will continue to be in each other's lives. They are dedicated to loving and parenting their amazing son and ask for privacy at this time. So they got married back in 2010. Uh, there was nothing crazy, no big event that uh, caused this. I guess they've been thinking about it for a while. They've been in couples therapy. And I guess I'm most surprised because we've seen so many pictures of them together lately. We know they spent New Year's Eve together. We know that they went to the Grove just a few weeks ago. They went to Disneyland with Luca yeah. right before New Year's. Were you, are you surprised by this? Completely blindsided. Um, I feel like Hilary Duff is one of those good girls, and mm -hmm. I feel like she's normal, she's nice, she just wants to be a good mom and a good wife. Right. And I feel like she she did have that with Mike Comrie for whatever reason, something was obviously going on behind closed doors that we didn't know about. But um, I like that they're gonna remain best friends and they're very, very committed to being good parents for Luca, who is the cutest child I've ever seen. Well, it was Miss Nina Dobrev's 25th birthday earlier this week, so happy birthday, Nina. Uh, not only did you get happy birthdays from Katie and me, but both of her exes went on social media and wished her happy birthdays as well, mm -hmm. which we think is really sweet, but also maybe a little confusing because yeah. they're both of her exes. So basically, Ian Summerhalder tweeted out, happy birthday, Nina Dobrev, the world loves you, we all do. Enjoy the moment, enjoy the day, enjoy the year. And then her other ex-boyfriend, Derek Huff from, of course, Dancing with the Stars, he said, happy birthday to the magnificent Nina Dobrev. You you bring joy to many lives. Have a beautiful day and congrats on your awesome win last night. So, so. we knew Ian celebrated uh, with, with her Nina. and Julianne Huff mm -hmm. uh, after the PCAs and after their cute moment on stage when they won Best Chemistry. Yes. What I think is sweet is that she's obviously still very close with, with her with both guys. Yeah, honestly, more power to her. I feel like most breakups, when you break up with someone, you're like ready to move on. But like, I see Nina doing dance wars with Derek Huff all throughout the holiday season. And then she's on stage with Ian Summerhalder. They're like kissing and doing a lot of PDA. I think it's awesome and it's a testament to their maturity. It is finally time to crown our first star as Cleverette of 2014. I think that we should kick things off 
with our star of the week? I think we should, you guys. It wasn't even close this week. Usually it's close. No, it was a landslide. It was a complete landslide. All Are you ready? The, all, the, all the fans were holding it down. Let's give it a drum roll. Three, two, one. one. Lucy Hale! Oh, Congratulations. I had to go to Lucy this week. Her single came out. She won a People's Choice Award. And I just feel like PLL she, returned. PLL returned. I just feel like she's on top of the yeah. world. I feel like she's always on top of the world. But what a standout week Lucy Hale had this week. Let's go ahead and read off some of your uh, messages, your votes, of course, rallying for Miss Lucy Hale. Uh, first of all, we have Jennifer Romero, who uh, just talked about her single and PLL, said that she deserved it. Yes, and then Desmond727 loves Lucy Hale and also Zephron. Mm -hmm. I see Clever Nation voted for Lucy. Mm -hmm. Chris Music, too. Uh, Jesse Herondale voted for Lucy Hale. And over on Instagram, we had PLL fan from the start voting mm -hmm. hashtag Lucy Hale star of the week. We have Shanna College. Kale Kaleaj, yeah, did sounds, I mess up your name? Sounded good to me. <laughs> uh, we had Hi, it's Mona. I'm obsessed with that username. Best username ever. Are you, is it because of Mona on PLL or is your name actually Mona? If her name was actually Mona, I would die. I need, but I need to know. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, we also had It's Me, Franciel. And of course, Ty Cleverettes. And uh, before we get to Cleverette of the Week though, we have to go ahead and uh, let you guys know who else was voting. We saw who else was in the running? Brooklyn's Life for Demi Lovato. Ahiko Tisdale wanted Ariana Grande. Mm -hmm. Clever Host really wanted Rihanna. Love You Forever X was all about Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm. I see Biggest Swifty, Official Cleverette, and Trish John. They just really wanted some shout outs. I see some votes for Selena over mm -hmm. there. What's up, guys? Uh, it's me, Fran Ciel. Also wanted Nian. Okay, and then Smexy Sims uh, wanted Harry Styles. So those so, are lots of votes, all but Lucy Hale, landslide. Exactly, but it's never too late, you guys. Keep getting in your votes. We have a brand new Star of the Week coming up next Friday, so get in your votes for who you want to win. Let's go over to Cleverette of the Week. Oh, this was also it. a landslide, and someone who is voting for Lucy Hale. Oh, you guys, yes. it is, are you ready? Three, two, and one. Row, row, row for, for Bieber! Bieber. Congratulations, yeah. you are just so incredibly stellar. When I think of you, I, I just see all of your, your tweets, your constant Instagrams, uh, they just roll through my head and when I scroll through my streams and your streams, we see probably, I'm not joking, hundreds and hundreds of votes. In the past, I've seen you voting for Justin, I've seen you voting for Selena. Selena. This week, I think you alone probably turned in a hundred votes for Lucy Hale? At the very least. I love your Instagram, which is up on mm -hmm. the screen right now. I mean, you just did a domination of yeah. Lucy Hale photos. I love your dedication to your favorite celebrity and, of course, your dedication to social media, girlfriend. You have got the Twitter and the Instagram game on a lock. Well deserved. Yes. Congratulations to Roro and to Lucy. Let's ask them some questions. Yes, you guys. What do you make of this whole Justin Bieber egg attack? Do you think he went too far this time? I yes. Want to know. I want to know that too and I also want to know who you're excited to see return to Glee for the 100th episode. So many. Is it Diana Agron, yes. Heather Morris, Mark yes. Salling? Yes. Are you like me and you're just excited for yes. Chase Cropper to make his debut on the show? Yes. Let us know. Hit us up. Don't forget, start voting for new for new stars of the week. Yes. Why should you be cleverette of the week? Rumor Patrol airs tomorrow. Like this video. Subscribe. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye.